Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksnest here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Now, in today's video, we're actually going to be kicking off a brand new series that I am going to be starting here on my main channel. And as you guys have seen from the title already, that is going to be Road to Damascus. Now, if you guys are wondering what Damascus is, really quickly, since this is episode one, essentially inside of Call of Duty Mobile, uh, each weapon can actually get the gold skin by completing all of the weapon skins and just doing all of the weapon challenges. Then, as soon as you get gold on all of the weapons in a certain class, so for example, if I get all my assault rifles gold and all of my assault rifles will also get the platinum skin and then as soon as you get all of the weapons in the game gold you actually get the damascus skin so our goal will be to get every single weapon inside of cod mobile gold so that we can finally unlock the damascus skin and I thought we'd just go ahead and kick off the series with kind of, I think, the hardest one. I don't know if this was the hardest because it really didn't take me too long to do this. I can't tell you exactly how many games it took me to get the knife gold because, number one, we haven't got it gold yet. I am still a little bit short, and that's what we're going to be doing on this video is finally getting this weapon gold and i will explain exactly what challenges i have to do but anyway i wanted to start off with the knife just because i think the knife would be kind of like i don't know just kind of a good way to start i actually have no idea what weapon i'm gonna do for episode two so definitely make a comment down below or just like a comment if you already see the weapon that you want me to do and i'll probably just pick the one that has the most likes or something like that but anyway let's just go ahead and get right into the game and check out the knife and see what skins i need to actually complete and what ones i've done as well as give you guys a little bit of advice on how you can actually get the knife gold as soon as possible all right so here we are in the game first thing i want to say is that i actually did pretty much all of this in the 1944 shipment 24 7 playlist uh, i wanted to do ranked for the entire thing but i couldn't even load into a single ranked match so the 1944 uh, shipment playlist seemed like it was a pretty good option just because it's such a close quarter battle uh, map like it's really really small so it made it a lot easier to actually use the knife and more than likely we're going to go ahead and close out the knife with the 1944 but basically all of my future ones i'm going to be doing ranked if i can if i'm able to actually load into ranked matches we'll definitely be doing that for basically all of the weapons just because i don't want to go in pubs and just absolutely destroy people i want it to be quite a bit of a challenge to actually get gold on each individual weapon and another thing before we finally get into the knives is i'm going to be streaming all of this live on my live stream channel which will be linked down below and on your screen right now Okay, so the reptile camo was getting three kills without dying. So basically go on a three kill streak with just the knife. Uh, you had to do that 30 times. So that one actually probably was one of the hardest ones to do. I think I just completed that one. Honestly, my advice for that one is just get three kills and then like die immediately so that you can completely like uh, reset it and continue to do as many uh, three kill streaks as you can. Because obviously if you go like on a six kill streak, I don't think that counts. Uh, so I just would continually die after getting three kills each time. Jungle was super easy. That was just 50 dead silence kills. So just have dead silence on, which you probably already do, especially if you're knifing. Tiger camo was um, get uh, two kills without dying. You had to do that 30 times to actually get the final one, which was blue tiger. That's the exact same thing as the three kill one. Just do it two times instead. Uh, splinter camo. This is the one that we're still doing, and this is the hardest one by far. Uh, you actually have to get kills while crouching. This one is taking me easily the longest um, because I'm pretty sure when you actually slide and knife someone, it doesn't count as crouching. I think you actually have to be like in a stagnant crouching position. You can't be like sliding essentially. So we definitely are going to be completing this one, this one in this video to finally get the gold camo. I actually do have some tips on how to do this properly, but we will talk about that when we actually load into the match. Uh, dragon camo was 30 kills from behind this one was not that bad he just knife people from behind and then sand camo i believe was 50 kills overall just literally get kills so that one's easy the easiest one to get by far because you literally just get kills uh, you'll probably get that one at, at the same time as the dead silence one because honestly more than likely you're just gonna have dead silence on so that one was not a problem at all but anyway let's just go ahead and load into a match and uh try to get the splinter camo the final one which is sharp sharp edges all we need is 11 more kills while crouching and again we have to try to avoid sliding as much as we can but i do again have a couple tips on how to do that anyway let's go ahead and load into shipment 24 7 all right looks like we got domination which i'm totally fine with i really didn't want to get um rapid fire just because rapid fire is spammed with uh freaking what are they called Oh, sentry gun. Yeah, the sentry guns, dude, are so bad. Uh, also, we're using the color spectrum just because I think this is, like, the coolest knife that I have. Uh, and hopefully I mentioned earlier that you actually have to make sure you use a very specific knife. You have to make sure you use the knife that has, like, the curved blade. You don't use the straight one or the baseball bat or anything like that. Uh, but anyway, so our goal here is to crouch and get kills. And what I noticed was the, the best way to do this was to slide into a building. Because when you do that, it'll basically make you, like, crouch as soon as you're done sliding. So, like, watch. If I slide here, it'll automatically stand me up. But if we do it into a wall, it makes me, like, crouch. So my advice was if you see someone, like, next to a wall, just slide into the wall behind them, turn around and knife them. All right, so watch. So kind of like this. So 
Well, this guy's not really next to a wall, so I'm gonna try to slide and like that, right there. So I'm pretty sure that was a crouch kill because I kind of slid into a wall and it made me crouch right after. Like that, right there. That's my best advice on how to do this. If they're in the open, you just gotta try to like stop sprinting and knife them. So right there, I think I slid. Oh God, Turn, come here. That was, bro, my teammates keep killing them. All right, right here, see I ran into him and I think, oh bro, of course he had a nade out. But yeah, so I think if you run into them, it actually stops you from um, continuing to slide and it'll make you crouch. I think it's if you run into people or walls. So that was another thing I was trying to do, but I haven't really perfected that because it is a little bit harder to actually like hit people. Oh, but like, right. Okay, that was a standing knife. That won't count. That should count, hopefully. Because uh, again, just sliding into them should be like the best way to do this. Again, I, I want to do rank just because then it's like really a challenge. And obviously we're playing a pub right now, so we're not going to be playing like the greatest of players. Uh, but again, I can't really load into ranked right now. And the 1944 mode is, it's, it's a new map and everything. So it should be pretty good. I keep calling it the 1944 mode, but it's just a shipment mode, I guess. Shipment 24-7. Yeah, like right there. I'm pretty sure that counted. So again, yeah, that definitely would be my, my best advice for how to do this as, as soon as possible. Like right there, that's probably good. I missed that. That should be good. That should be good. We're actually getting a lot right now. I'm pretty sure we're going to get it at the end of this game. Which was a lot sooner than I thought. I think that was probably a standing knife. Another thing too is I'm pretty sure they nerfed the knife this season. Knife's iOS, which is a, a YouTuber that uses uh, knives only on his channel. Um, he actually is saying that he feels like the knife was nerfed as well. Like as I was practicing with the knife. Um before this uh big update actually dropped and just so i could kind of like prepare for actually using knives only uh while we were grinding for the skin and i got pretty familiar with like the knife's range and everything and as soon as i started playing um this update i immediately felt the difference dude i couldn't get that guy for my life so I, i'm pretty sure they did nerf it i don't know what they did exactly it just feels like it's like I, I don't know, maybe the range is reduced or something. It, it's really hard to tell what it is just because I haven't played with knives like all my life. It was just like one day that I used them pretty heavily. I think we've got it though. If we don't have it, that's gonna suck. That's why I really wish it would just tell us like in game if we have it or not. You know what I mean? Like it does in other games. Maybe one day they'll add that feature. I don't know. We'll see. If they do add it one day, it'll probably be after I've already gotten all the skins. So another thing about why I wanted to do the, the knife immediately is because in theory, I think if I get the knife gold, I should get it platinum immediately because I'm pretty sure the knife is the only one in its class because the, the classes for secondaries are launchers, pistols, and knives. And I'm pretty sure you can't get the gold camo on the other knives, like the karambit, uh, the straight knife, the baseball bat, the ice pick, all that stuff I'm pretty sure is its own separate thing or something. I don't really know how it works. So we're gonna go look at that. We're gonna see if we got platinum and just kind of overall see what happened. But hopefully we unlock gold here. It should show. Oh, we got the Kordak going dark. Dude, I thought there was an animation for the gold skin. All right, it looks like we should have got it. Yeah, because we got the 50 kills while crouching. So that should be the final skin. Uh, so as you can see, once again, there's three knives. If you go to the normal knife, which is just a straight one, then you go to gunsmith and look at the blueprints. You can see there's a bunch of different like types of knives. So there's like the Karambit, Ice Axe, Hachi, and the this one, which is easily probably the rarest knife in the game, by the way, which I, I really love this knife, actually. These don't actually count, because if I go to the base knife, I confirm that and I go to camo, it doesn't even let me use a camo. So I guess this isn't included in the knife category. It should just be this one. And then the baseball bat as well. As you can see, just got the uh, baseball bat and the mad clown, and I don't have the option for camoing. So I think this is the only knife in the category for melee. Anyway, let's go to gunsmith. Let's go to camo. Let's go to completionist. And what? Okay, now I'm confused. Are we missing something? So we have reptile. Oh, unlock by collecting all the other grindable camos and playing a match with this weapon. Oh, so maybe you just have to play one more match after you get all the camos, I guess. Interesting. So let's go ahead and put on like our favorite camo and just hop into one more game and just get that done super quickly. I mean, honestly, let's do rank for this one. We, we just need to play one more match. So let's do something that's kind of entertaining. Obviously, we'll take off S and D. All right, let's go. We got domination firing range. This will be fun. Again, it should just wait. Why do I have a baseball bat? That is a facepalm moment. I have to wait 50 seconds now. Five minutes? Bro, I have to wait five minutes. Dude. Dude, what are, their, what are those two guys' names on my team? Hold on, look at their names. It's sad winky face 10 dots, sad winky face 11 dots. All right, I actually really enjoyed playing hardpoint yesterday and knifing just cause like, if you get in the right spot on the hardpoint, you can just absolutely go off. What? Dude! Dude! Oh. If you get in the right spot on the hard point, you can just absolutely go off. I'm I'm playing the hard point for my light. Dude, we have to win. It has to be a win. Oh, dude, I don't have a trophy, dude. This is Molly season, bro. Honestly, COD Mobile made a big mistake adding Molly's as lethals and buffing them at the same time. 
I understand if they do one. But why do both? Also, that guy thought he was slick. Alright. Molly that. And smoke myself out. I'm gonna smoke right there so I can see them come here. But they won't see me. No! Give me it! Bro, this guy's unkillable! No! Bro, that one guy, I just can't hit him for some reason. I'm telling you, bro. They nerfed it. Oh, easy. Bro, we got them right off. Okay, we got 10 more seconds on this. Try to hold it. Honestly, you can just molly that entrance, and they can't even come in here. There's, like, no other way to get in. Hey, whoa! Whoa! No! No! Dude, <laughs> I was getting shot from one angle, and then I got mollied from the other angle. And we smoke this. And we sit right here. So how it has to be done, bro. We're winning this game. I don't I don't even care if we frag out. I just want to get the dub. Oh, ready? One's coming. Oh, bro. Let's go. Ooh. I got to remember I can slide now. Like, before I was trying to, like, slide and hit them. But now I can slide past them. Which, right there. That's how you knife. All right. Hopefully there's nobody in here. I think we're good. All right. So just go ahead and molly that. Smoke this. And now we wait. Boom, we got the hard, hard point secure. Molly's hitting someone. Molly killed someone. Oh, bro, he was right in my face. Come on, Winky Face 10 dot. Let's go, Winky Face 10 dot. Oh, there's Winky Face 10 dot dead. Winky Face 11 dot putting up shots. Winky Face 11 dot backing up. I think my team wants to frag out, but <laughs> I just want the win so we can get the, the gold skin. Yeah, dude, we got platinum too, so... I was right, you do instantly get platinum with the knife. Again, that's one of the biggest reasons I wanted to do this is because immediately I would be able to check out the platinum skin and I wouldn't have to wait to get all of the other guns. So doing this one first, then probably like launchers and pistols since there's only two of each. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and check that out real quick. All right, here we go, the, the grand reveal. Honestly, I'm gonna put my graphics to max and then we'll uh, go ahead and check it out in game just so we can see like the, the best view of it that we can. Okay, I don't have max graphics. I have very high though. That should look really good regardless. And then Bloom is on as well. Bloom is basically, it makes things shinier. So that should help the, the look of the gold. Okay, now I'm going to restart my game just to make sure the, the changes kick in. Here we go, down to the completionist camo. We're going to have the gold in all of its glory. Looks really cool. I definitely want to see what it looks like in game. It doesn't quite have the shine I was hoping for, but it still looks really clean. Yeah, dude, it's still really cool. Especially when it catches the light like right there. You can see it looks super clean. It doesn't have that pattern that I thought gold would have, which I'm totally fine with because I didn't even like the pattern too much. Um... But yeah, man, that looks, it looks really clean. They did a nice job on the, the gold shine of it. And then the platinum, go ahead and check that out real quick. So here is the platinum knife. So it's essentially like white gold. Um, same thing, really nice shine to it. Just looks like a really cool like brush steel, not brush steel, but like, I don't know, it looks cool. So let's go ahead and set up two classes so we can check out both of these. But anyway, here we go, we got the gold. We're kind of in a dark part of the map, so we're not gonna see all the shine. There it is with its shine and everything if we swing. Honestly, a little underwhelming, but still really cool. I mean, we're playing on a mobile game, mobile game so obviously it's not going to be like the same thing as like Modern Warfare gold or anything. Uh, but it is, it's still really satisfying to get that gold. It's still really cool. Again, we're in a shadow right now, so we're not going to see all the shine. I guess right there. Yeah, I mean, it still looks really cool. I like it a lot. I just don't think it's a 10 out of 10. I'll give it like an 8 or a 9 out of 10, which is still really solid. Right, there's our first knife. I'm also going to go ahead and switch over to the, the platinum so we can check that one out after. All right, so here's the platinum um yeah i mean it looks pretty cool it just looks like again like a cool like steel or something the thing about the knife is it's so small and it's kind of angled so it's really hard to see so even if it had a really cool skin on it like it'd be kind of hard to tell from this angle again that's one of the reasons i did it as the first one too is because i just wanted to kind of get it out of the way because it's not gonna be the craziest one but yeah i definitely like it but again we're here for gold for the most part so i'm gonna switch back and check that one out the most just because i definitely think the gold one looks cooler for now let's just run around knifing until we die and then switch over yeah, because, like, when I'm running, you can't even see the knife. That's the thing about the knife, dude. You can't, you can't see the camo, like, at all. Plus, you don't get, like, a cool animation. The cool thing about a lot of the custom knives is the cool animation, like, on the Karambit and the um, the pumpkin one. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh, that was kind of clean. No! I didn't slide! Oh, we got him. He was confused. Oh. No, dude. That guy, like, my aim assist went to the left, and then he was behind me. Ooh, try to cap this. Sticking it. No! I couldn't slide! Oh, there we go. I, like, crouched and then slid. That was sick. This guy on my left. Get this guy real quick. Yeah, dude, the clown is my biggest threat by far. Oh. He's trying to... No! Oh, okay, he was almost a better knifer. Alright, let's molly that. Ooh, that should help get rid of that. Oh, the Sam turret. I'm dead. Oh, I got that guy. Oh, and I got a double with the molly, too. 
got him. Bro, knifing is so fun, dude. You guys should really try it. It's it's really fun, actually. Especially when you just get the perfect, like, slide-by knives. So satisfying. It's a lot harder now with the, the update, but... Put a Sam turret here. Use it as cover. They try to shoot me, bro. They hit the Sam turret. It's all part of my strats. Use it as a shield. That actually might be a pretty interesting concept. Just use a Sam turret as a shield. So that is going to be it for the uh, episode one of Road to Damascus. Obviously, we got the, the gold camo on the knife as well as the platinum. Definitely let me know what you guys think of number one, the series, as well as the gold and platinum skins on the knife. Again, I don't think it's anything super exciting on the knife just because like, again, such a small like thing and then, or such a small like weapon. So there's not a whole lot of skin to really see. And then also you're constantly running, can't even see the knife. So it's nothing really insane. Um, if you could like inspect it or something, that would be pretty cool. But currently we don't have any kind of feature like that inside of COD Mobile. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. With all that being said, make sure to drop a like and a sub down below if you guys did. And you do want to see future episodes of Road to Damascus. And I will see you guys later. Peace.